military effect. In the meantime, you have Vladimir Putin saying on Sunday that he is ready to, quote, negotiate with everyone involved in this process about the acceptable solution, end quote, with regard to the war in Ukraine. You have actually, uh, I mean, to say, negotiated with Russians. What does that experience tell you about Putin's intentions here? Yeah, well, I certainly haven't negotiated with Mr. Putin himself, but I have negotiate with some of his military officers, his generals, and some of his Ministry of Defense officials. And what I will tell you is this, I've learned valuable lessons from them. First of all, they lie. Secondly, they will never negotiate evenly. And thirdly, if they do finally negotiate, we think we have a deal, they will renege on that deal. And what's important about this, all of our European allies know this. And it seems the Americans are slow to learn this, that it's just not a good thing to negotiate with Putin because he lies, he distracts, and he renounces on any deal that he makes. Ukraine, as we as Will pointed out, is calling for Russia to be excluded from the UN. What do you make of that? Yeah, I, I'm not going to comment on that, Pam, because that's something for the politicians to decide. But I, I've also seen reports from, from CNN reporters saying that's going to be very difficult to do because. Uh, the Soviet Union, not Russia, the Soviet Union was one of the founding members of the UN, and because of that was one of the five original members that makes up that body. It's going to be tough to kick them off because they have a veto vote. Uh, they can just veto anybody that tries to kick them off that security plan. Ukraine President Zelensky's visit to Washington 